Go Audio. We've simplified the clicking a bit at 9.3 to get to individual layer properties and attributes. I can locate a layer without having to go to the table of contents in order to do a task more quickly, like change the layer symbol. I can also quickly open the attribute table via the identify results window. I can use various shortcuts to interact with the table. I can press control and use the roller wheel to zoom in and out on the table window. Control double click turns off field visibility. Control right click will toggle the field aliases. Shift with a double click opens the new advanced table sorting dialog. I can then sort by multiple fields. Many other keyboard shortcuts have been added at 9.3, so you may want to have a look to see which ones might help your particular workflow. Next, let's have a look at a favorite new enhancement, clipping a raster dataset with a graphic. I may want to make a subset of this portion of my map to share with someone else. Clipping rasters in the past required a few more steps. Now I can use a new option in the Export Data dialog to create a subset of my very large DEM. First, I'll create a graphic around the area I want to export. Notice the status bar at the bottom of the ArcMap window. It updates now, showing more feedback instead of just decimal degrees. I will also enter a name for the graphic. I can use the new Area tab to get the coordinates or dimensions of the graphic in a variety of different units. Now when I export my raster data, I can choose to clip it with the selected graphics. Finally, I might decide that I want to create a more permanent result for that polygon graphic too. At 9.3, we've added a new option to save time in creating new feature classes or saving graphics to a new feature class. Not only is it faster to create features from my graphics, but it adds the new feature class to my map automatically using the same symbology that the graphic was using, as well as storing a name field to my output. And since I exported it to a geodatabase, I have my geometry fields too, such as shape, length, and area. That last workflow is a popular one with many of you. It is one of many enhancements to ArcGIS that happened as a result of your feedback. Thank you.